Welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Foster, and uh, today we're actually filming the first video in this studio. It's not gonna be a proper studio tour because of a couple things. First of all, I wanted to talk about this topic, uh, why I'm leaving Instagram, at least for the summer, uh, starting today when this video goes live. I'm gonna delete the app off my phone. I'm not gonna be using the web client or anything. I'm just going to be not using Instagram for the summer. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why I've kind of had it with Instagram and why this summer vacation from IG, the gram, uh, might last more than a summer. Um, but also, I wanted to do a desk setup and like studio setup tour with you guys, but uh, this past week, there was a freak accident where uh, we were moving some stuff around, as you guys saw in the last video. I was moving some stuff in our bedroom, and our bed frame fell on my left foot and just crushed a couple toes. Uh, thankfully, nothing's broken, but twisted my ankle and messed up a bunch of stuff um, when all that happened and had to go to the hospital and ER and all that stuff. And it, it, it's it's not fun. It's not fun. It hurts a lot. Uh, it's going to be a few weeks until I'm back at full speed. So there's still junk everywhere. I don't even have this mic properly boomed. It's just like hot chewed right onto the R5. I don't even have like my full tripod set up. <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there. I just wanted to make this video for you guys because um, I think things are changing. I saw recently as well that Mike from North Borders made a video talking about how he has kind of had it with social media and Instagram in particular. Um, I was kind of feeling the same things and sort of already planning this video and another video that I hope to get out to you guys soon uh, regarding that. But this video is gonna be about why I am leaving Instagram, at least for the summer. Before we dive into that though, leave a comment down below if there's something that you like can't stand about Instagram or something you would want to see on Instagram, or maybe there's another service, like I'll, some of the ones I'll talk about at the end of this video, uh, that's doing something that you like, that you want to see uh, on a particular platform, or maybe you want to tell people about that platform. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear where you guys are at, checking out photography, enjoying photography, and building communities around photography. So that here are the three things that uh, I'm just kind of fed up with with Instagram. The first thing that's really been just not, I'm not a fan of, the first thing that I'm not a fan of with Instagram now is that the home tab and the explore tab have basically turned into the same thing. That's that's not okay because the explore tab back in the past, if, you, if you've been on Instagram for 10 years like I have been or 12 years, I think now, pff, that wild. Those two tabs have kind of always been there. There's been like this feed that you get to curate and see and yeah, we all kind of expected there might be some ads in there. But lately now it's like Instagram's trying to juice their engagement or something. And so like I could scroll through my feed and never see someone that I actually follow, someone whose content I actually want to see and instead see stuff that's sometimes the same but different and I don't particularly like that. I, I liked having a curated place where I could go see updates from my friends and people in my community and, and creatives that I get inspired by and know that that's what's there. I know what I'm getting when I hit that home feed. And the Explorer feed used to actually be tuned to like what you wanted to see but now I feel like with the injection of reels and stuff like it's kind of just turned into TikTok. We're just like a way to shove TikTok down our throats. It's, ugh, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. And I feel like this, like the whole algorithm thing of it is what makes this app exhausting. Like I go there cause I'm like, oh, I wanna check out and see what this friend is doing in Europe right now, or what this friend is doing in Canada, or, or this family member of mine in Mexico. Like I used to like Instagram just because it like allowed me to keep up with my family in, in other places, my friends in other places, and I can't open that app and reliably do that now. So like this app for me is already failing at one of its primary jobs. The second thing, and this kind of piggybacks off of the first is, is cropping, compression, and just overall image quality. I have been posting on Instagram now for, like I said, 10 to 12 years. It used to be that you kind of knew what you were doing. Like you, you would post a square image and like, hey, you're like, okay, that's the name of the game, I get it. Then Instagram changed and it was like this four by five thing that you could do. And that was fine, like that was a little bit better, I guess. I would ideally like three by two, which is what a full frame resolution is. That would be kind of nice. 
Um, and instead, Instagram said that they would allow 16 by nine or nine by 16 photos to be posted to your feed. But then if you go try to do that, it's not turned on for some people. So I had planned out this whole shoot that I did and began editing it thinking, oh cool, I'll be able to post this as nine by 16 and do some splits, you know, where you get a swipe back and forth. And like, that's those are kind of fun. I like those, I like that a little bit. And when I went to go post it, I realized that Instagram was not gonna let me post a nine by 16. I had to post it in four by five. And I just, I kind of had it. I'm like, I don't even know what to expect out of this app anymore. I don't really know how to post things here. And I've always, for a long time, could not stand that you can't really post landscapes. If you post landscapes, they get shrunken down, just really tight, it's not fun. And like, that's not how a landscape's meant to be seen. Like that's, you know, it should be something where you can tap on it and rotate and get the full view of it. Like, come on. And the, and the image quality is bad. If you try to zoom in on some of these images or, or uh, you know, just <laughs> take a look at a detail on something, it, it doesn't look good. And like, why would I want to be putting my work out there, my stuff out there, even just the fun stuff, and have it look like garbage? And <laughs> if you remember 10 years ago on Instagram, we used to put these filters that were like kind of fun because we all kind of knew that like, oh, our phone cameras are sort of not great. and back then not a lot of people had dslrs and now it's like hey we have phone cameras that rival the dslrs of 10 years ago and the mirrorless cameras that we have today are even way better than that they, they can even push up against what some of the cinema cameras the low-end cinema cameras at least can do why can't i share that level of quality on your multi-billion dollar app why the final thing that really has me ready to leave Instagram is actually how positive of an experience my time on YouTube has been. And in fact, most of the people reaching out to me finding my Instagram are through this channel. So first of all, thank you to all of you. That is, that's super awesome. That's so cool. Um, but that really helped me see like, I'm not really getting new followers from Instagram's algorithms. Instagram isn't showing me off to people in their feeds or if they are, you know, am I really getting the exposure versus like my like input, like for my work put in, do I feel like I'm at least getting some type of engagement and interaction with even just other people in the community, let alone for like brand and business work? Um, is, is, is this actually a platform that is getting me better connected with professionals and people I want to work with in this world? And like, the answer is no. The answer is absolutely not. Like. I think every person that I've talked to, and I've now had dozens of you reach out on Instagram from YouTube, is I ask people like, how did you find this Instagram? And, and every time it's like, oh, I was watching one of your YouTube videos that I found it. And then I decided to come over here to send you a message. And it's like, okay, well, that doesn't, <laughs> it would have been just cool if you could send me a message on YouTube maybe, or another platform. Not that I don't appreciate and enjoy getting those messages on Instagram, but I'm not gonna be on Instagram as a messaging platform. I, I, I don't think it works well as a messaging platform either. So yeah. So I just want to say this in, in regards to leaving Instagram, I feel like it's become a just a, an app that I open on my phone that I expect one thing, I get something else and that really sort of just like exhausts and frustrates me on this like really small level. This is like obviously like a problem of, of great privilege, but I think there's this also like underlying current about it which is like as people were trying to connect with other people and tell stories with other people and that's actually i think one of the most important things humanity needs to do to be at peace and and enjoy life so like I, I see that this is like a very simple like this isn't like a big deal and then at the same time like it scratches on this this thing that is actually a really big deal. You know what I mean? I don't really know how to take it any further than there. I'm not like a philosopher or anything. Maybe one day. I am a contemplative. Probably should. Probably should be able to know how to talk about that a little bit better. But um, what I do want to say is I will be posting regularly now on uh, Twitter. I have kind of tried to post there and I think that's kind of going to sort of be how I do stories sort of say if I'm like updating you guys on something quick, which is funny because Twitter just got rid of their stories feature, I think called Fleets or something. It wasn't that good anyway. <laughs> 
But um, I'll, I'll be sure to post some stuff there, like just to say hi and whatever. And if you want to jump on Twitter and send me a DM and say, hey, that would be awesome. I always appreciate those. I will be posting my photography and stuff that like I normally would have posted to my Instagram feed onto glass. I really am trying to use glass a lot more, especially since they updated with an iPad app. I'm gonna make a whole video about that uh, very soon. But that's a great place where you can go and check out the photos that I am posting and hopefully enjoy those. And if you're a member on Glass, which is a paid service, uh, you can follow me there and get all of my updates and posts and photos and things that I'm sharing. But if you're not a member and you just still just wanna see what I'm posting and some of the photos that I'm putting out, I'll actually leave my public Glass profile link <laughs> Wow, it's a mouthful. Down below in the description uh, so you guys can check that out. And what's great about that is you don't have to pay or sign up for anything. You could just go to that profile, see uh, all the photography stuff that I've got up on there. Um, and so it works either way, whether you wanna pay for it or not, you guys can still check that stuff out, which is pretty cool. And finally, I'll be posting more photos in my videos here. I think that's probably one of the things I enjoy most about YouTube is I feel like I get to share a photo with you guys and explain and tell the story behind a photo and, and be able to build a community here. I actually weirdly think that in a weird way, how many times can I say weird? <laughs> For me, YouTube is in a weird way, one of the best photo sharing platforms out there because I feel like I've connected with so many awesome photographers here that are sharing their photos through video. And uh, I know I've definitely learned a lot about photography and cameras and all this stuff here. And that's part of the reason why I make these videos is to pass along uh, what I've learned and some of the things that I've put together. And uh, so you can get that same experience too. So, so yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down below with uh, something that Instagram used to do and uh, doesn't do anymore. Something that Instagram is doing now that's maybe you're not a fan of, or if there's another place that you're posting your photos and building community and want us to all know about, leave a link or some type of comment down below. Thank you again so much for watching and subscribing to this channel. If you haven't, uh, go make it right, make it happen. Um, be kind both on life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes, healing vibes, because this this leg of mine is, <laughs> is gonna need some help. Send some healing vibes across the internet and we'll do it again soon. Later.